excuse the mess, I'm literally only in from gym and rehearsals. Um, I have a presentation in, in three weeks and um, we're kind of doing that so I'm a bit of a mess. Um, I can't remember who it was but he's asked about stretches and everything about flat feet. Um, it was on a video of this girl who said she had flat feet and there's a video of her on point and she's gorgeous feet um, and it's just to kind of kill the myth that flat feet won't get you on point which is a load of rubbish if you've got good strength and good core then flat feet isn't going to stop you um, but for those who do have flat feet and who do worry and panic there are exercises and techniques that you can do that do aid um, in basically strengthening your feet and helping you get a bit of an arch um, I had very flat feet and they're not the best even now but they're a lot better than what they were um, I think it helps that I have a very high instep um, and that is what helps me um, but for some of you aren't lucky some of you end up having the bad end of the deal and always feel that you have like the worst feet possible but just if you have the worst feet it doesn't mean it's not gonna you know ruin your lines you could have bad feet but you could have gorgeous extensions it doesn't really matter um, you just you can't let things like that put you down um, you just gotta push through it just because you have a fault in one thing doesn't mean you have a fault in other things um, you could have a gorgeous port de bras um, it just it just goes to show but um the exercises that I do I don't do um, some of them as much as I should anymore um, I've actually moved on to a few others um, but a lot of things I did was basically tondus and one thing we're taught in class is to really work through your feet and that means going through the demi to full point and it's just working those metatarsals is a good thing it's working your whole foot um, and one thing that I do um, is if you get a towel I've got a pair of band here at the minute is if you get a towel and if you lay it along the floor and you're basically going to use your toes to pull that closer to you and even after about 10 minutes you will feel that in the top of your foot and you won't notice difference until possibly a good month or two down the line but believe me when I say that it does work um, metatarsals that's basically your toes along there there if you I've noticed if I'm working them then my whole foot's working um, I don't know if that's right or wrong but I've noticed a better difference if I can feel my whole foot working um, another trick I was actually shown by another one of my teachers in um, school she actually did a photoshop with move dance not photoshop photo shoot with move dancewear her name's Charlotte um, and she's fantastic and she actually brought up a thing to do with what's with a squash ball and you can get these basically in any sport shop um, they come in various different strengths I got one which is still quite squishy um, you can get super hard ones but I think having a bit of a squish in it is good and one thing she said is basically you roll it underneath your foot and you're really working to get basically you're really working to basically get under your foot see right in that arch really work to get in there and really push down um, I've act I need to get a harder one because this one's gotten too soft now but if you really work around that especially at the side there and really roll that round and just really push down if it hurts then the ball is probably too hard or your feet aren't warm enough um, before you do anything please do warm up your feet um, tondus is the best way even massage um, I would usually do a massage about 2-3 times a week um, but that's because I used to be a beauty therapist and massage is basically in my blood um, but if you really work in that arch of yours really push down and that does more wonders than you can realise and another thing we, I was told as well is see with your toes this is why I got the squishy one if you hold your other toes and you're just pushing your big toe down into it 
you just push down, you hold your other toes and you push your big toe down and you do the same with the other ones, you hold your big toe and you hold your other toes and you basically push down. That, I'm starting to notice a difference now that I've been doing a couple of weeks. Um, whenever I first started point work I was put in bad shoes and because my feet were still growing, my toes here, whenever I'm pointing my feet, these curl, they go like that, especially on my left foot, my left foot's the worst. Um, whenever I point my feet, um, these ones up here, they curl. They don't do it as much now since I started using this squash ball. Um, but they used to really curl. That's one thing you need to focus on as well, is make sure you're not, you know, really not make sure you're not scrunching your toes make sure you're really pointing them um, and some people can't really tell the difference um, and if you do if you're worried about what the difference is ask your teacher he he or she will be able to guide you better um, but because I was put in bad shoes whenever I very first started point I'm basically a lost cause when it comes to my toes I can't really do much else about about them apart from what the squash ball does um, and it's worked wonders so far. I have noticed a difference. Um, but that's basically about it. I need to get a harder one because this has gotten too soft. Um, but that's another trick. One of the ones that, it's that time, it's so hot over here. I think it's about what, 28 degrees. And all the flipping flies. I've, I've gone through two cans of flies for about two weeks. Um, so excuse the flies that you'll see buzzing around. Um, Another one that you should really all be doing, it's common knowledge, is TheraBand. Um, I think it was Catherine Morgan, I'm not sure, um, but she had a brilliant exercise, um, TheraBand exercises for point work. Um, and I've noticed her wee tricks have made a huge difference. Um, the main one that you should all know is if you have it wrapped around your toes, right? And work through. That's what I used to do. What we do now is what we learn in class is put over the top, put over the top of your toes, and wrap it around. Make sure that's nice and tight, and now work through your feet. Make sure that's really nice and tight over your toes. And that I've noticed has helped a lot more. I don't know if you can see that. But that's basically, that helps a lot more, I've noticed, especially under here. You can still do, you know, the normal ones. You can still have it over and then just work through your toes that way. That's another one, make sure it's nice and tight. You really work through your toes. That's another one you can do, which I assume everyone is doing anyway but I noticed a better difference with the squash ball um, I still do my theraband exercises but I would focus on the squash ball more um, sometimes when my feet are really knotty I use a golf ball they're very hard um, but I won't use that I'd only use it if my feet are basically really tight I'd say um, that's basically those the main thing I would do but what I also did is if you don't like the towel um, the towel's easy enough um, but sometimes I noticed when I first started doing it I couldn't really grip it properly my toes won't curl over enough um, they do now because of the, doing the exercises um, but if you're like that and you can't get your toes to grip the towel or a piece of fabric or whatever you can get these I got this from, I think, Planet Dance Direct. Um, it was either Planet Dance Direct, um, Horsley, or Move Dance Wear. There's three different, there's loads of dance, there's loads of them on there. And basically, I can't make out what it's called, but it's got this thing here. Yeah? You put your heel there, and you have your toes up here, and you're basically pulling this down with your toes. And that's especially at the start you will notice a massive difference um they come in two different strengths um the other one i think is white um and it's a lot stronger um but it's a bit more expensive that's probably why 
um, but start with the beginner one. Um, even if you are a bit more experienced, just start with the beginner one just to be on the safe side as I did find at the start this to be a little tricky. Even though I can grip the towel now, even with this I still find it a little tricky to pull this down. Um, especially because of my toe, beside my big toe, it does curl a lot more. Um, so I do usually have to hold it down. Um, but once you get going, it's brilliant. Try and keep up a steady rhythm. Try and keep it going back and forth. Try not to let it go up the top and then back down again. Just try and get a steady rhythm going. And that works your foot a lot more. Um, I've noticed the squash ball and one of these is basically my two card sense. I would rely on these a lot more than I would anything else. Um, but what you will also notice is on the mark at the minute stretches. I got this one off eBay for 20 quid. Um, but that's the UK market. Um, US and probably Europe may be a little different. But I got this one for about 20 quid. Um, it's nice and padded. It's still got the lining and it's got the elastic bit there. Um, this one do not do if your feet are cold. I would recommend doing TheraBand exercises first. Maybe some tondus, releves, whatever, don't do this if your feet are cold because it will cramp and it will hurt and you can hurt yourself. Um, that would be the one thing I would say at the start. Um, I got this one, I don't know if you can see, um, but that's the address of where I got this one. Now I don't know if they post internationally, they may do, um, but this is brilliant. Um, my left foot is weaker than my right. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but that's how far my left foot goes over. And that's how far my right foot goes over. My toes nearly touch the ground, unless I kick in my hybrid extension, then my toes will never touch the ground. Um, but I would do a lot more exercises on my left foot, and I can feel it working more on my left foot on this one. Um, with this one, sorry. Um, because it is weaker. And what you basically do, doing my feet nice and warm because I did have rehearsals and everything. What you do is you basically you slip your foot in. You can do this with point shoes as well. It helps breaking point shoes. Um, it was brilliant. Um, you slip your foot in, pull the elastic over the top of your foot. Make sure your heel is nice and settled against this first bit here. Um, and then your arch will be over the next one. And basically what you're doing is you're straightening your leg. And you will feel that across the top of your foot. Um, with my right one, I don't really feel it as much um, because it is more flexible. But you will feel it basically the top of your foot. And if you, you can hold it, if you've got hyperextension, have something across the top here to hold it down. Because um, whenever I, I am straighten my leg, you will notice it goes up at the top. Right? Hold it for about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes if you can. Start off slow and maybe a couple of minutes. Or what you can do is bring your leg back up and straighten it back again and you will feel that working a lot more. Um, another thing you can do is if you don't feel a stretch in this anymore, basically lean over and try and reach past the foot stretcher. I feel that more in my calves but you will feel it in your foot. Try not to see it as getting your head to touch your knee, try and think of it as reaching past. Try and think of it as getting your head to touch your foot. Maybe even get your head to touch past the foot stretcher. That gives you more of a stretch. And it's a bit of a deeper stretch. That's what we were told in class. Um, but that's... I do these ones before class. Basically every week. Um, mainly because my feet cramp a lot. Because I have a two hour class. I have my grade five at half six to half seven. And then I have my other class from half seven to half eight. And that's basically my Tuesdays. Um... But that is basically the instrument I would use. But what I used to do at the very start, um, which I will show you, um, I got little ballet socks and they're so comfy. What I used to do, and I swear by this, I would do this before a fitting, um, whenever I was going back to point work and getting fitted again properly. Um, I can never tell these are hungry. Um, it helped 
looks a bit more, I found it was a bit more nicer. Um, because if my feet, if you just go on whenever your feet aren't warm, I don't know, it feels weird. I don't know, it feels as if I shouldn't be on point whenever I've done that and I always feel self-conscious but I have mental health issues and I'm just basically crazy. So, <laughs> anyway, one thing that I would do that I recommend everybody to be doing. If you're not doing it, I strongly recommend that you do this. Um, if you are already doing it, try and do more. Um, I started from about 20 each, and then went up to 50, then went up to 100. And after I found I could do 100, I moved to the third band. Um, and then after the third band, I got the... Oh, I can never remember any of it. I got this thing. And then I got the squash ball, and then I got the foot stretcher. Um, and then I just focus mainly on tondus. Um, one thing I do struggle with, and this is why I got suggested the um, squash ball, is with my jumps, I'm not pointing my feet, I'm just jumping. Um, and you know yourself, whenever you're jumping, um, you don't just jump, you're basically springing. And I'm not springing, I'm just jumping. So <laughs> that's one thing I need to focus on. But anyway, this is what I was trying to explain um, on my other girl's video, who has gorgeous feet. Um, tondus, as I said, keep doing them, they're brilliant. If you really focus on going through and see when you get to your demi, then go over your toes and back and point again. That really works your feet, that's what we do in class. And that's one thing my teacher keeps telling us to do is to make sure we work through our feet. Um, but what I would do before class, along with the foot stretcher, is if you coop, coop it out. Um, you can have it at the back, you can have it at the front, or you can have it up here. Um, it's each to your own. But if you coop it out, and if you raise up and down, and you're basically just rising up and down. Make sure, you can do this parallel, or you can do this turned out, it doesn't really matter. You're basically just focusing on your feet. You can do this just up and down, and after you've done that, I would probably start with about 10 or 20. Once you've done that, rise up again and stay up and then bend your knee. And make sure you go right over your foot. And you'll feel that in the front of your foot. And just make sure you go right over. This also helps you get over the blocks of your point shoe. So I found people who don't have strong feet, they can't get over their box. But that would be what I do. Um, and you can do that on point as well. Um, but I would stick to just doing it on flat shoots. I don't know, mainly because if you're on point work, or if you're doing it on point shoes, you're not really, you're always up here. You're not basically on your demi, and you want to be on your demi, you don't really want to be up on point. But if you are going to do it on point, try and make sure to pull up out of your shoe, don't rely on the shoe pull up out of your shoe um, because that's where a lot of people do struggle and if you're not pulling up out of your shoe your feet aren't working and if your feet aren't working you're not going to get that nice curve you're not going to get those nice lines um, you want your feet to work um, and if you're relying on the shoe the shoe's going to die quicker that's why people cast Gaylor Minions as cheetah shoes because they're relying on the shoe the shoe's doing the work for them if you don't know how to pull up out of the shoe, then a gain on Minden shoe, um, even Grishko's, uh, oh, what do you call it, Dream Point. Um, whenever I was using them, I found uh, they were doing the work for me. If you don't know how to pull up out of your shoe, then you're not working your feet right. And with a gain on Minden, you need to make sure that you're working your feet, not the shoe, if that makes sense. Um, that's why people class them as a cheat shoe. And I think that's where people get confused and struggle with when it comes to the gainer minions. But that's my opinion, that's what I think, and that's actually what my fitter agreed with. Um, like those who don't have that knowledge basically don't know what they're doing. And if you're relying on the shoe too much then it's going to die faster and you're going to kill them faster. Um, and one of, the ways, one of the ways I know I'm working the shoe is, you know with a Grishko you have that little pin here. 
um, that's, bas that's basically holding my shoe together because if you notice, I don't know if you can see, but my sole is basically coming away. I don't know if you can see that, um, but down here, along here, you probably see it more at the side. It's hard to, it's hard to show, but if you see it there, that's how I know I'm working the shoe. Um, and the, sorry, that's how I know that I'm basically doing it right. Is that will come away because my foot is bending enough to the point that this is actually well, they're near the end. Um, I can get probably another two passes out of that. Um, that's how I know that I'm doing the work and the shoe's not. Um, but you, somebody else may be different to them. They may feel that that's the shoe doing the work, but that's my opinion. But then again, I'm not that experienced. Um, that's basically it, I think. Um, one thing that I have personally noticed is when it comes to point shoes, um, see if this is too soft. Like in Freed's, um, and especially in my Triumphs, when this is too soft, like this is still really hard at the side, when this is too soft, I can't get over my box. Um, and when it comes to Freed's, I need to do extra metatarsal exercises. Um, and I don't know if that's because of the way Freed's are made, um, uh, but that's basically how I found things. If I have no wing support, then I can't get over my box. Um, I rely on wing support um, and that's basically another way I've coped um, and if I don't have that wing support I can't get over the box of my shoe um, and then my feet aren't working properly I don't know I've just I've always found that and I found that if my feet aren't working properly then they're cramping more and when it comes to doing the little exercises that I do my feet they hurt and you don't want your feet to hurt you want them to be nice even though which is doing well on your feet um but that's basically what i would do um any of the exercises please run by your teacher first as they may think that you would need something a bit more advanced or maybe something similar but in a different way um when it comes to doing anything i strongly recommend you run it by your teacher first um as well as a physiotherapist especially when it comes to a foot stretcher you can really hurt yourself if you're not doing it right um, you do need to be really careful when it comes to one of these um, if you're not doing this right and if you're trying to push for something that you don't yet have it's gonna hurt um, because my left foot turns in a lot more um, I feel it along the side and I can't hold it as much as I can with my right um, so I need to be extra cautious when it comes to my left foot. Um, if you're starting to hurt, then stop. If you're going to overdo it, then you're going to hurt yourself and you're probably going to find yourself off a couple of classes, especially with a sprain. Um, please run any of, the, any of this by your tutor, because um, I don't want any of you just to hurt yourself. Um, because if you're anything like me, if you miss a class, I feel so bad. Um, but that's basically it. I do usually do these types of videos in my living room, but I don't know. The floor isn't the best at the minute. We got a new floor cleaner and it's really slippy. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Um, uh, one thing I will say before I go is I don't know if you saw it, but there's a video, um, it's from this teacher who says basically to focus um, beyond the toe pads. Um, and one thing I have noticed, I have two types of toe pads. Um, I have a thinner pair and I have basically the ouch pouches. These are really thick compared to these ones. I got these ones on eBay. Um, I found when I'm wearing these ones, my feet are working more. Whereas with these ones, my feet are cramping more because they're thicker. If you're wearing thick padding, then that's going to stop your feet from working. And if your feet aren't working, then you're not 
you're going to get those nice lines. You want your feet to be working. That's basically how, what you should be doing. Your feet should be working. You should be pulled up. Um, everything should be pulled up, tucked in, tucked up. Um, every time my teacher is going tuck, 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 and I just crack up. Because um, all I see here is tack, tack, tack. And in school we used to do this stupid thing with pins. Um, but anyway, if your padding is too thick, um, that could be another thing that's holding you back from not getting those nice lines, from not getting those nice arches. Um, too much padding in a point shoe is basically not going to let you do the work. Um, the shoe's going to be doing the work and that's going to basically set you back a while. Um, I only noticed this recently um, and I have noticed a big difference in what shoes was it? In my worm wires that I used to wear all the time, I now can't balance in them. I don't know what it is, um, but I can't in those type in those shoes now, um, who which are I love them to pieces. I'm struggling with them. Yet yeah, with these ones, the Grish Girl 2007. I'm grinding them. Um, they're both a pace shoe, but in these shoes, because the box is a little bit neater, I wear thinner padding, whereas with my wormoirs, I wore my thicker padding. Um, so in my wormoirs, the shoe was doing the work, I wasn't doing the work, and that's why now I think is why I can't get, is why I can't work the shoe properly. Um, so that's another thing I would suggest you look at as well, is to make sure you're not wearing too much padding. Um, make sure your feet are doing the work. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, if your feet are doing the work, then you're going to go further. You're going to get those lovely lines. You're going to get that lovely arch. Um, and that's basically it. My battery is going to die, so I may finish this off. I rambled for nearly half an hour. Um, if you have any other questions or whatever, I'm not the best, but I shall try my best. Um, that's basically it. I'm not sure whenever I get another video up. I'm hoping to go to Freed um, next month. Whether or not I do is a completely different matter. Um, but I'm, I've always loved Freed shoes and I want to go back to them. But I've got a new pair of Gain of Mindens coming in about three weeks time. I got the new five box. Um, I'm selling my other ones after I took the wing box out, it just it wasn't worth it. Um, so I've got them coming and then I'm hopefully going to get a new pair of Wemoirs um, soon. Um, Pascaline and Wemoir has been fantastic. I strongly recommend trying their shoes because they're great value for money. Um, so yeah, probably the next video I'll put up will probably be when I get my Gaino Middens. I've got a wedding to go to next week. Um, um, probably after that it will be whenever I'm over in Freed. Um, so that's basically it. Until next time.